object and follow it to the end of the function and split the video there. Now let's hit the This one I'm gonna flip horizontally. This one I'm gonna rotate on the So now you get something like this. Which is good. He's monster. Oh, and I should have done this earlier. Huh? Uh, turn the volume up to 6.021. Which is just the highest you can get. Ooh, lagging a little bit. I better be careful. So now I'm gonna go to. Another way to do this is to just apply the volume to the first clip before you copy it. And then copy it again, which I should have done. That's better. Now in the video effects, in your channel blend, you can mix and match these in any order, but I recommend using red only channel blend, green only channel blend, blue only channel blend, and invert 100% in that order. 
So my normal was gonna turn red. Flip vertical was gonna turn Flip horizontal was gonna turn blue. Then I'm gonna get invert. 100%. So it should look like that. So Select all four of these. And I'm hitting Control B now. One, two, three. This last one, this last set, I'm going to shrink. Oops, sorry, not grow. Shrink each clip by a frame. So now they're only two frames. And I'm going to uh, not change the uh, opacity. I'm going to line them up like that. Now these little automatic fade things it makes, I I just don't worry about those. They've never really affected the video much, but if you feel strongly about it, you can get rid of them. Now I'm going to hit Control c copy those, and paste one, paste two, paste three. Now that I have them all pasted, what I'm going to do now is shrink them all again. So now these remaining square things are all a single frame long. And it goes very fast. What I'm gonna do is copy one. Oh, sorry. I didn't copy enough. Make sure you have all of them selected. Sometimes it is not cooperative when you try to select all four. So, um. I don't want that either. So I'll just select all four of these. Control C, V, V, V. This last set don't change anything. See how far we are. We are! All right, so that's what we want. And lastly, what I'm gonna do is Control V, get rid of these three, and that one too. And this last one, I'll just extend it to the end. So now it's going to be like, I'm going to change the effects on the audio. I'm going to add pitch shift and distortion. And I'm going to remove the volume effect. Actually, you know what? I'm going to apply distortion twice. So I want, I don't want a preset. I want A17. Preserve duration and negative four semitones. So it's going to pitch down by four. Express effects distortion, I want mangle. And I want mangle twice. So that sounds really distorted. Now, what I'm going to do up here, and this is, this I'm going to leave up for you guys to see as I'll add gradient map, remove the channel blend. And I have a preset on here called Colorama. You, you, could take you guys out. get a good look? If you don't, you then zoom over. in on it, because I'm not very handy with nice. Hypercam, so I can't zoom in on it for you, unfortunately. I could get through this. Um, what, what else is that going? is the preset Colorama, and it's supposed to imitate the Colorama from <laughs> Adobe a After Effects. There's nothing left in so we have so let's go ahead at the um, I believe this is the light color. Hang on a second. I'm gonna artificial. No, that's the dark color. Sorry. So dark colors are red. Slightly brighter is yellow. Brighter is green. 
Midbright is cyan, cayenne, however you pronounce it, I don't know. Bright colors are blue, very bright colors are six, are, are pink, and then near white colors are red. So it's the whole spectrum of colors. Now that I have Colorama applied, you can also rewind and pause the video. I'm going to go to the pan crop, and how long is this? It's uh, 14 to 17. So it's about three seconds. I'm going to change the rotation to, let's try 1080, not 1880, or 18180, or whatever I, basically I made a mistake. Okay, angle's 180, I mean zero. Sorry to confuse you, but I'm making a couple of mistakes of my own. Now you want a keyframe at the end, turn on lock aspect ratio. The width, zero. Angle, 10-80. Because it's three seconds. Now if this rotates too fast, I'll change it to 720. And if it's too slow, I'll change it to 1440. Something like that. Okay, that's rotating way too fast. So what I'll do is 720. That's a little better. I might even reduce it to 540 or 360. Well, let's see how 360 looks. Yeah, I'll bump about. I'll bump it up to um, 5 720. You should have the angle in multiples of 360. That just zooms in, and it ends off, and I'm going to add my Cuber 9000 logo, the new guy, in the upper track. Oop, don't want to scroll. Go to the end, and go another second. Now, if you don't have a logo, then you can just put, like, a second blank space. Small. Great. Let's see what we have so far. That is what you want. Um, if you have the HTML5 player in Google Chrome or some other browser, you can make this video as slow or fast as you like. Otherwise, you can pause, line, do certain steps, and you can do just do whatever you need to. Also, if you need clarification, you can leave a comment. But I hope this helps. I'm going to render my video. Lastly, you don't want the quality of the video to exceed the quality of the video. Now, I don't want to go It's just ridiculously small, and it doesn't have water. But, you don't want the, um... very small and therefore my result video will be very small. What the